John Tiernan. John Tiernan, that's right. 21 years ago, did you ever think you'd be back on the strand out here? No, oh, this time 21 years, I was on the boat when I back from the Apple Hospital in Dublin. And I thought there was only one way I'd be leaving the Apple Hospital in Dublin. But thanks for the God, here I am today. And I love this. I have been coming here since I was a child of three years. And that wasn't today or yesterday. And this is a special day, it's a special day for the community here, the chemistry races. It's a big, big day and the sun is shining, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And you but appreciate it all, you do? I appreciate it. Because so something happened there. Yeah? I really appreciate it. That's turned my life around and I appreciate every single moment of it. What happened to you? I had non hodgkin lymphoma, cancer, and it had perforated the small intestine, which is my small bowel was burst. So you were a bit of a mess, were you? Sorry? You were in a bit of a mess? I was a right mess. I was <laughs> a right mess, and um, uh, it was, I went through a tough time, but I had major surgery in Mayo General, and then I went to the Matter Hospital, and I had a lot of chemotherapy there, and uh, times I felt like giving up, but I said no, I keep to it. I keep at it, and that's why I got involved in with Mayor Cancer Sports Association. And I have been with them since it opened up, and uh, it's a great place for people to win that are going through cancer and for their families and friends where they can win and sit down, they can cry, they can talk, whatever. And we, I have seen people run in there with a heavy heart. And I've seen them coming out of the Rock Rose house with a smile on their faces. Did you cry yourself when you were told what you had? Uh, not when I was told face to face. But there were nights in the Matter Hospital when the lights were switched down. And when I was turned into the wall, I did cry. And there's no point in saying that I didn't. And what was on your mind? Well, I had five <coughs> youngsters at home. I was the breadwinner. And I felt I had the rope pulled from under their feet and that I was letting them go. But that was that was what I thought. And I felt I was had, had let them go. And, uh, but then I'd steal myself together again, and I'd say, look, come on, you better get up. You'll get out of this, you'll get over it. And thank God I did, and I left it all after me. And a good friend of mine said to me one day, he said, do you know why you got over your cancer? And I said, I don't, but he said, I do. And I said, well, that's brilliant. Just tell me why mm -hmm. I did get over it. Because he said, you were good for not he said. <laughs> that's why you got out of it, he said. So now you're helping others? Now I try to help others, and I'm involved in my account support, and I try to help out others because I know what they're going through. I know the dark tunnels there is, and I know about the mind. And, and unless you have been there, you can't understand fully what people are going through. So this is the tenth year of my cycle. I organise the cycle each year on the green on the greenway, and uh, from Westport to Navens of Kilmare, and it's to raise funds for Mayor Cancer Support and Rockrose House. And it takes a lot of money to run the house, maybe 200,000 a year. We have a great staff working there. And as I say, it, uh, we get very little funding from Manitoba. Mm. And um, this year we're having our cycle on the 4th of August. Sunday the 4th of August, bank holiday. And we register at the Leisure Centre in Westport at, from 9 to 10. The cycle starts at 10 down to Nathan's and even if there's something on later in the day, a match or whatever, you're still back in plenty of time for it yeah, yeah. after doing the cycle. So we go down and have tea and coffee in Nathan's and uh, it's a great cycle and the same people keep coming back every year and it's a uh, it's, uh, it's fun, it's a bit of fun it is. It? It's a bit of fun and it's a lovely leisurely cycle and more and more people are getting involved in it now and they know what it's all about and as I say to them some of them are only just not long on bikes and as I always say to them when you're halfway there you might have pains in your joints and your knees and you'll say to yourself what the heck brought me here today at all but just stop for a moment and think why you are there. So you're fundraising as well, yeah? It's a fundraiser. Fundraiser. It's 20 euro registration and I also have sponsorship cards and uh, it's a fundraiser for Rockwell's House in Tesla.